Hi, Shay Given here. You're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome back to Irish Football Fan TV. This is our World Cup show. This is our second episode. I'm joined by Connor, our cameraman. He's also our image designer. You will see his handle come up underneath his name there. So do go and follow him. See where he's pointing there. So, um, Connor's joined me today. Uh, to do, he doesn't normally get behind the camera now. I'm no, oh, sorry, in front of the camera. He's usually behind the camera. Usually behind that. Uh, Connor. Take a step out today. Um, World Cup. Who's impressed you so far? We've had a few teams that are kind of upsetting the odds. There's a couple of teams that we know are, gonna, are doing well. Uh, we always thought they're going to do well. But for you, personally, who's been your kind of standout team? Who, who, who's excited you the most? It's hard to say, really, isn't it? Um, Croatia have obviously looked very good. Uh, Mexico have been a bit of a surprise package. Um, Senegal also looked good. Um, it's pretty hard to pick. Portugal. Isn't it? Portugal, yeah, they've, like, they haven't been... Playing great, but they've got the job done pretty much. Yeah, they? same as same as Brazil. Really. Yeah, pretty much. They haven't um, they haven't messed up too much so far. But yeah, it's a lot of good teams so far, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, uh, any players? In mind? You, 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 could you could you pick out anyone that would be your you know right now if you had to choose a team that you think are gonna go the whole way? The team. Uh, it's hard to get. It's hard to know again, isn't it? I'd say Brazil probably have every chance. Well, I'm hoping Brazil do because I've got Brazil for uh, in work. So if Brazil win, I win 160 euros. So I'm rooting for them all the way. I have Brazil jersey on the way on order. So um, I'll be wearing that with pride. Uh, hopefully, the, by the time it comes, they're still in there with the yeah. show. But uh, they have one more group game now. Um, we're filming this in Germany. Are playing right now, so we won't yeah. we won't know how they're doing at the moment. So we can't really comment on how they're doing at the minute. Um, but uh, I suppose if I had to pick a team that look like they're even going to upset the odds, I suppose Croatia look yeah, like it right now. They do look very good, don't they? You know, I, and I we did say this last week, um, kind of previewed that, and we were saying that you know Croatia look good and they look, um, they have a really good team and they, you know, all different areas of the pitch they do look good. We talked about uh, Manzukic, we talked about Modric, Kovacic. Kovacevic, is that how you say? Um, then they have Perisic, Verasco, uh, you know, and they, I'm sure there's more. I just can't think of. It's a very solid head. team all around. Yeah, yeah, but exactly, they're solid, but they're a team unit. Whereas you look at Argentina, who they smashed, yeah. and they're not a team at all. It's a team of individuals, and yeah. it's a team playing pretty much every player, is, except for maybe, I suppose Aguero, playing yeah, pretty playing much out of position. Yeah. Messi was dropping deep a lot. Uh, not playing his natural position because the midfield aren't doing their job. Mascherano, you know how long has he been playing centre half at you know Argentina? Yeah. Because he can't be playing him in midfield. Yeah, exactly, he, he, hasn't, he hasn't got the legs anymore. Was yeah, he thirty four now? Nearly thirty four. Yeah. Yeah. You know I mean? and he's the defensive midfielder as well. So like, if he was sitting and he had someone younger doing running with him, but he doesn't because they. I think it was Perez. He had him with him. Yeah, and he's kind of off the boil last few years, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, he's never really done anything really, has he? I mean, his career's. You, you, you would, when was the last time you remember hearing about? Do you know what I mean? Not, a long not, time ago. Not really, exactly. And he was leaving players like Tabala and that on the bench as well, like that, so that didn't help that case yeah. um, as well. So it's, it's just one of them things. But for me, Russia looked good. They have impressed, haven't they? Because um, it's strange because the Russian fans gave themselves no chance before the tournament started and they've scored eight goals in two games, which is mad, really, isn't it? Yeah, the only thing I would say is. I'd like to see them tested against a better team because so far they've kind of had it easy. Yeah. I the Saudis, I think I don't think they'll win a game. They'd be lucky to score a goal. Uh, maybe I'm being a bit harsh there, but no, they are awful. They're good at passing the ball, but th- passing no the balls unless they're going to pass it into the net, it's not going to do anything for you. So for me, you know, I struggle to see where the Saudis are going to go. But yeah, Russia, like we're going to come to players who who we think that uh, we'll get a. Transfer it later on, but uh, it's be- what do you think of Belgium? Uh, they have looked good, yeah. Today um, they played now, so we're five two today, today yeah. wasn't it? Five one, no. Five two at all. Five two, okay. We're on, uh, Hazard and, and Lukaku both look very good. Two old yeah, now see the thing I and uh, people always say to me because I'm an Everton fan, I'm bitter towards Lukaku. I always say that you need to play to his strengths, and Roberto Martinez didn't. I know he scored a lot of goals for Everton, but if he had to play to his strengths. Uh, Martinez if they had had the tactics right I think Lukaku would have got more goals for Everton and the reason now why he's getting goals for, for Belgium my mate has, uh, has Lukaku for top score and I laughed at him the other day and now I'm kind of eating my, now. Now, yeah but now I'm, I'm eating my words because 
I've seen how Belgium are actually playing because I look at when they in the Euros they weren't playing to his strengths and that's when they had Wilmot in charge and he just didn't want to know yeah. anything about him. So you have players like Hazard and De Bruyne and all mixed around him and Mertens who are going to play on the, the passes in front of him. He doesn't like having the back, his back to go and he doesn't really have to do that with Belgium because they have the ball on the ground for most of the game. Obviously they didn't and Hazard's goal yeah. which is a lovely piece of play took him down his chest around the keeper and scored. And he looks very good and he's coming into the right uh, bit of form at the right time, which they'll be obviously delighted about. But my my thing for them is Lukaku's going to be key. And you see the ball in for Mertens. Like, if you get Lukaku in that area and you give him the ball in front of him to run onto, he, nine times out of ten, it's going to score. Like, I, I was watching it today. I was watching it at work. And I could see from where he was. And I knew, because I've seen him that many times for Everton. When he gets in that position, he is lethal. In that, in that, uh, anywhere in the box, you give him a bit of space and he can run at you. He he will nine times out of ten hurt you. Yeah, Mourinho doesn't play to his strengths at all. No, no, that's no. why he's starting to flop there a bit. But yeah, for Belgium, he's just been brilliant. Yeah, um, but I think I think it, if he, as long as as long as he keeps doing that and producing, he may he may, we may not stay you know for too many years. Or if that's the case and they see that that's how you operate for Lukaku they may change manager like twice the season if he struggles but we'll, we're not going to talk about the Premier League now that's for another day um, I mean what what's going on with Argentina absolute disaster so far isn't it no oh. they just don't look like they want to be there Messi particularly I think no. he's just been let well, down well it's always the most bizarre thing ever when they showed the national anthem when he started holding his head <laughs> I mean when have you ever seen someone do that? Smart. He just looked like a frustrated figure the whole tournament. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah. I don't think he wants to be there. No, I think he's even retired before the tournament and he came well, back. Well, that's because he was getting abused yeah. by the Argentinian fans and he doesn't do enough. But, I mean, there's only so much you can do. To expect way too much of that team. 100%. 100%. And, well, you could blame him because you, you look at, like, for Ireland's sake, we uh, people say that we are or we don't know what we're talking about and all this and the other our players should be better and this that and the other. If we have one of their players in our team, one of their strikers, the ball, Higuain, Messi, Aguero, even the like like and he was left out. <laughs> if we had any of them, we would idolize them. Yeah. And you know they could do no wrong in our eyes. And that's the thing is Argentina are blessed with very good strikers, but nothing else. Yeah, they're very top heavy, aren't they? Yeah, very much so. Um. I don't know what the keeper was doing, but uh, I have to say, Ray, uh, Rez, Rebic. Rebic, yeah. I yeah, I thought he was... Uh, great finish. Yeah. I mean, look I wasn't good. expecting that. I no. mean, he let it out. I thought he could have taken a touch or whatever. No, just... Straight in. I'm volleying this. That was an awful mistake at the back, though. Yeah. We have Willy. Argentina's Willy. <laughs> Willy doesn't work. <laughs> um, for you, Connor, what players do you think now, um, kind of coming into it, We'll uh, get a get a move from the World Cup. Any 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 big performances you think that they can kind of if they keep it up on the big stage, there's gonna there's gonna come uh, people trying to buy them. So who yeah, do you, who do you um, think? It's been a few. I'd say Lozano from Mexico has impressed. Um, I think you know he was slipping around him for a long time. Hmm. So I imagine a few teams are coming for him. Uh, someone I'd never heard of before the World Cup. Uh, Golovin, Golovan, not sure. Yeah, say, Russian fellow. Yeah, Russian lad. He looked very good. Yeah, he's been a star player. I know. Uh, I know. Cherishev's got the goals, and uh, you know, but Golovin's there. There, he's their star player. Yeah, he's just ran show for him. Yeah, had, they've started very well. So they always seem to have kind of one. Well, maybe it's more so that league, but they always seem to have one player who's kind of, you know, doing really well. And well, obviously Cherishev's done all right as well with his uh, goals and stuff like that. He looks a really good player. What, what do you think about him? He does look very good. Yeah, um, I hadn't seen much of him before the World Cup, to be honest. But yeah, um, I knew he he played. He went to Real Madrid originally. I think so. Yeah, and he went to Villarreal now. Yeah. I think he's still there. Yeah, but I think he's been at Villarreal for a while now. Yeah, and uh, I think he was that. highly rated at Real Madrid originally. Don't think he really lived up to promise, but maybe you know, <laughs> like a lot of players. As later in time he realizes how good he is and he starts kind of putting the form and I would be or putting the performances in. Uh, I wonder now who could get him. As a Liverpool fan, would you take him? Um, as a backup, maybe I would. As a backup, a backup wouldn't be starting. I'd say he'd do well at someone like maybe West Ham or maybe even Everton. Oh, you know right, yeah. you backup take, for you years, but uh, would you take him? Uh, <laughs> not right now. See, the only reason I'm saying that is because I would like to see him test against a bigger team. Right now, as I say, it's only been two games in. Yeah, they haven't really been tested in my eyes, and you know, 
I'm looking at players like uh, like someone for me who kind of showed he could do it when when the pressure was on. Was Musa playing for Leicester? Yeah, uh, doing it for Nigeria. I thought it was a massive result for them against Iceland. Yeah, and for me, I, you know, I thought Iceland were going to be one of the, one of the shock uh, teams to go on. Yeah, they they, they got draw against Argentina, wasn't it? Yeah, first game that was. I mean, insane. We think about three hundred thirty thousand people in that country and did manage to do like in Argentina, but um. And with all the talent that Argentina have on at their disposal, yeah, it's fucking mad. It's, it's crazy. Think about what's how many people are in Dublin like. That's it. Compared to it. And and well, the only thing is, you could say that in rival and that this rugby GAA. And well, so yeah, on. that's the thing. But. Um, and there is a wide, wider community, and everyone does be kind of asking in those sports. So that's uh, it's going to always be everyone's yeah, argument yeah. towards that. So um, it's kind of, but we do have some of the best rugby players in the world now at the moment. It's like Iceland have a smaller population; they kind of focus on one sport. Maybe like football is kind of their sport that they focus on. While yeah, like I said here, we have GA and rugby. So yeah, makes sense. Um, another team <laughs> we go from Iceland because uh, Iceland beat uh, England in the Euros. Um, I think England just did. Um, obviously the lads were previewing the other day, and they yeah. predicted, you know, if if, if they're gonna do well, be relying on Harry Kane, and he showed up so far. No? <laughs> yeah, I said I said Sterling and uh, Lingard was set, so uh, we'll, you know, I might knowledge is the bomb, but uh, no, so no, in all seriousness, um, did you think they look good, or we do you think they got lucky? I think a bit of both. They did look good at times, but. You see Belgium today just blew away that Tunisia team and England scraped the draw scraped the win in the last minute. Yeah, you know, when you think of it that way, comparing them to Belgium, I don't think they have a chance to win that out ring, but if they can get it right, then they might have a chance. Like the the tournament's so open this year, there's no clear favourites, so eh. Yeah. But but no, I don't think they're gonna win. Yeah, but the thing is he Kane, as usual, gets them out of jail. Like he's done with Spurs so many times. Yeah. He's a great man under pressure. And he doesn't seem to get phased, you know, by the big occasion. He always does it. He thrives on pressure, really. Doesn't yeah, he? I mean, didn't he? Didn't he score a last minute goal against Scotland to to equalise in the qualifying? I think. It might uh, I think Lee Griffith scored two goals in the game, two free kicks, and then he ended up scoring a last minute winner for England. Like he 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 does show up, um, and he's really sh- like seems to be thriving in that captain's role now. I think. Um, what did you think of Senegal? They did look good, didn't they? I yeah, I mean, I, 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 I thought they were going to do well from the start. Anyway, a surprise package. I never think they're going to win it now, but yeah. I think they'll they'll do probably the best of all the African teams, in my opinion. They probably are the strongest African team, yeah. Um, I completely underestimated them, to be honest. I, like, I didn't realise they had so many decent players. Yeah, they do have, they have, they have a very good squad. A good core um, of players there, like, and they have decent players around them to complement them. Yeah, so I think the goal is a bit controversial. The, the second goal. What happened to the goal? So the the who was it that, that scored Niang? So Niang was out by the um, by the touchline getting looked after, and the lines were letting go on. And one of their players he kicked the ball back. The Poland players he kicked it back into their half, and the player went running back to try. And, the defender went running back to try and get it, and Niang ran onto it when he, sh- he shouldn't have been allowed back on the pitch basically, and. Um, he ran back. He ran onto the pitch, and Chesney came out. He took it around Chesney and then put it into an empty goal. And everyone was like, "What's going on?" Because no, no one seen him. Like yeah. The centre half turned around and didn't see him because he, he thought he was right off, there, yeah. uh, off getting treated. So they kind of calmed their way out of that. Um, I actually hadn't seen that. I missed that game. <laughs> well, if you anyone has missed it, check it out. And t- uh, if anyone um, objects to it, let us know in the comments as well. It sounds dodgy. Yeah. Off. <laughs> Few uh, brown envelopes under the uh, under the, the door there for the ref. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Is there is there any is there anyone else that you kind of you, you're looking at and you're thinking, you know, these may these may shock a few. Um, I would say Croatia. We've kind of touched on them already. I think they could do very well. Uh, Portugal as well. Yeah. A team that no one really thought would win it, but I think the might the I think it's kind of hard to underestimate them after winning mm. the Euros. I mean, they they, they no one expected to win that either. Yeah, I mean so. the grinding out results. Um, again, it's another thing. If if Ronaldo, if Ronaldo gets injured, you know, will they become more of a team? Yeah. Because they seem to be playing a lot to his strength, like to his strengths. He's carrying them so far. Yeah, but I mean, he's something else. Though. He's a machine. He really is. 
the four goals already. Just an absolute machine of a man. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I think, you know, for them, it will depend on the first team they get once they get out of the group. And then you'll, you'll see if what they they're really the made, of, made out. I think they will. That's, it's not confirmed yet, though. Yeah, but... Could they, up. I don't think they will. Uh, they they drew with Spain and then won the other day, so you know, I don't I don't really see them slipping up. Who did they beat Iran? Uh Iran, I think yeah. Yeah. So and then Iran played Morocco, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, so and, and, and Iran beat Morocco, so and Spain beat um I'm sorry, it was Portugal beat Morocco. Yeah, sorry, and they Spain, they'll be Iran Spain play, beat yeah. Iran, so um it so they'll have to play they'll have to play Iran now. But I thought Iran actually looked decent against Spain. Now I don't know if this is because the Spanish um, have been, you know, the whole stuff with the manager and stuff like that. If they're a little bit in turmoil um, yeah. and they're not really playing to the best ability, I don't know if it's that or the fact that Iran were actually very good. I think they're just good at like, being a solid defensive unit, really, isn't it? Kind of like Iceland, you mean? Yeah, basically, yeah, this kind of shit house kind of team. <laughs> Set up well though. Yeah, very yeah, well. Yeah, packed the bus together. team. Sean Dyche kind of team. <laughs> yeah, well, the, in fairness to them, like they, they almost got uh, back into the game. They almost got an equal. Yeah. I mean, if they show the same kind of heart, heart and desire against um, Portugal, they may upset the odds. I'm not saying they will, but they may so upset the chance. Yeah. I thought Morocco actually looked very good in that group. They were unlucky not to win either of those games. Yeah, well, they have some decent they players. The Belhanda is a very good player. You just Belhanda. Uh, um, yeah, is he as well? He's, a, he's at Ajax, isn't he? Ajax, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so they've some good attacking flair players, but they're not doing enough. And they've uh, Benashia as well, yeah. uh, off of Juve, or Bayern. He's, he comes between yeah, I can't remember the two. He's always on loan. <laughs> but he's a good, if you're playing for either of them clubs, you're a good player. Yeah. Let's be honest. Um, yeah, I'm just... Uh, and you kind of Do you have a tip for the golden boot? It's hard to say Because now Lukaku's on four. Um, you know, uh, Ronaldo's on four. And then who else is uh, is up there? Diego Costa's on two now. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think this time. Who, who else is there? I think they're the real Moose will be on two now. Moose on two, yeah. Nigeria won't go too far, though. Yeah. So I mean, uh, as Spain keep going, as games go on, you know, Costa could, could get yeah, up there. Think, All he needs is two goals, really. I think it kind of depends on who goes the way, the whole way. If Portugal makes it to the final, let's say Ronaldo will win it. If Belgium do, Lukaku probably will. Well, what do you think now about Brazil? Because... You know, Neymar got like Scarsha, uh, Scorsi, Coutinho, he has two, two now, isn't yeah. he? He's looked very good. Yeah, he has. He's Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he, he, he has a class. And we actually forgot to give Brazil a mention there, because uh, I think Brazil have been brilliant. Uh, they were lucky not to not to win by four, by four or five yesterday. Yeah, they look very good. Um, I'd say Switzerland, actually, they've looked very solid. The Swiss have always solid. Yeah, I think they've lost one game in the last three years. Really? I think they lost in like the end of last year and they hadn't lost since 2015 for that, which is crazy. Yeah, it is. And they're, I think they're sixth if, ranked in the if, world. If I'm wrong about this now, let us know in the comments. Yeah, don't take my word for gospel here. <sighs> Sorry to anyone who's religious. Uh, no, no, but you're, no, you, you, like, if that's the case, then um, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to think, you know, they haven't got that. Like, they've got a few good players. Like, they got... Um, Shaqiri, Xhaka. Yeah, Rodriguez is a left Rodriguez back. Yeah, he's very good. good. Jan Sommer is a good goalkeeper. Yeah. Um, is Mbolo playing for them as well? Yeah. Yeah, he's a good player as well. Child. Started on the bench, twice. Yeah. Um, I mean, look, they, they the Swiss always have decent players. But for me, they won't, they won't go too far, I don't no. think. Um yeah, yeah. And that's it, yeah. Uh, for me, golden boot so far. Lukaku's looking good. Ronaldo's looking good. Um, Harry Kane. Harry Kane too, as well. Yeah, yeah. we forgot to mention him. Um, I mean, it, it's a really, really open tournament, and I'm really liking it so far. Uh, there's no clear favourites. There's no clear favourite to to top the um, top goal scorers either. So I mean, it's all to it's, play for. Exactly, it is all to play for, just as you said. Yeah. Um, and as far as uh. Uh, the rest of our shows if, if you want to let us know uh, what you want us to cover in our next show uh, put it in the comments uh, if something you want to be um, discussed or if you want your name to be popped up as a comment we'll have it pop up along here and we will answer your comments 
Uh, we would like to start doing a your comments show, so uh, if if you'd like to get involved, we need a little bit more engagement from you guys watching the watching the shows, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or YouTube. Um, we need more uh, engagement from you guys. And uh, yeah, I suppose that's been our World Cup show episode two. Thank you very much, Connor, for being on. Go no follow him uh, at ConnorArtistLFC. Yeah. You also find him in the description because he will be doing the thumbnail for this image. But uh, no, check him out. Uh, go and follow him. Connor's trying to boost up his uh, followers on Instagram. He's amazing on Twitter. Amazing. Uh, so check him out on Instagram. Uh, go follow him. Uh, as I said, his title will be there at the start of the video and it's also in the description. Uh, you all know who I am, I'm sure, at this point. Uh, if you don't, at Paul Neil 90 check us out. Um, and as always, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon and have a great weekend.